Shalom, Shalom, Grand Rising, all of my sisters and my bro stars out there of the Star Seed United allies and friends. I bless you with infinite love and light, and I receive yours, Abracadabra. Yes, y'all bless the Hebrew Rose Jericho. In that comment section, I love your comments. I love to see your abracadabras and your 777s. Seven, seven, you have no idea. I can't even fathom. I can't even fathom how powerful those words have become, you know, in our small little group. Yes, all praises to the most high, honey. I was just um, listen to, listening to, his name is Lord Draco Voldemort, okay? This dude right here is an oracle too, and he uses tarot cards, yeah. Very anointed, and uh, listening to him this morning, I was like, whoa. Right on point, honey. Right on point. Yes. And uh, he was like, he said something. And uh, it just really stood out through the whole message. He said, you know your treasures now. You know your treasures now. And I was like, I do. I do. I do. I know my treasures now. Because the Most High God of Israel and our Messiah has anointed me to lead off Star Siege 9 in a holy fight. Yeah, there's ranking. And you know what? I ain't even worried about people. The Most High chose me to lead off this group. I am the leader of this group. And I'm a woman. And that's a treasure, honey. I got confirmation. Confirmation. I got receipts. I got receipts of it. All praises to the Most High. And you know, if you have been following my station for some time, that we do, we have been given. We, those of you that that um that um uh uh, uh resonated with this message. And you put your energy, no matter how strange I was, because I know I was over the top in the beginning. I was over the top. And it was real, honey. It was real. I'm going to leave all those videos up there because I have a record of how our mother, this is one of our treasures, of our, how our holy mother has developed our little group has given us so much wisdom, has actually taught us to be more than conquerors. Every last one of us. If you put your abracadabras and your 777s and your judgments in the courts of the Most High, honey, do you know how powerful? that? That's the key to the kingdom. That's my treasure. That's my treasure. I, because I know that's another treasure, Star Seed United. This power does not come through faith. It just doesn't. Not this level of power. This level of power does not come through, through faith. It does not come through believing. It comes from divine wisdom. And that's a treasure. These treasures are phenomenal that the Most High God of Israel gave us in the spirit realm, honey. He showed us the magical secrets for receipts. Not just one, not just two, not just a hundred. I might be close to a thousand discoveries right now of our magical kingdom. And that's my treasures too. All praises to the Most High. Do you know what your treasure is? My treasure is that I made it. I made it. Now I know. Let me 
before I came into this dimension, I made a deal for a very difficult task. And you look back over your life, too. I'm telling you my story, okay? This is my testimony. This is what I know, that I made a deal or a contract or an agreement with the Most High God of Israel before I came into this dimension. And it was very, very difficult. Very difficult task. Honey, you're talking about pain and rejection. Physical pain. Body broken up like Humpty Dumpty. Yes. I'm telling you. Pain where, you know, physical pain where you just, I have amnesia for some days. I can't remember what happened. Never could. That kind of thing. And then the emotional rejection that all of us starseed had to go through because we came into this dimension filled with rejection for us. Started in the 5D with, with Adam. I don't know what his name is in the spirit realm. I know he is our Messiah and he came here on more than one occasion on his assignments. He had to come in here too to do certain things to make sure that the pure word of the Most High God of Israel got in somebody's ear and it was recorded. He had to come through here too. Yeah, I know what the Bible say about his suffering, but I know his assignment, he did some suffering because he came into this dimension that was full of rejection and hatred towards him, just like you and me. But we made it. Suffering all kind of loss all through our lives. We might take two steps forward and go ten steps backwards and five forward and always going backwards at the same time. You know? <laughs> Just trying to survive. But we made it. So now, okay, our treasures. This is this is a big treasure. Our Holy Mother, before we even started on this battle. She freed our mind. She showed us ways, simple ways of how to properly process our thoughts. How to properly process our thoughts and to know that we don't accept every thought coming to us. We can close that door and reject it. And we can open the doors to the things that we desire. This wisdom is... The most precious treasure in my chest. Yes, honey, that's a treasure. We were being bombarded. Bombarded. Let me tell you, sometime 24-7, even in your sleep, those spiritual wickednesses were sending all kind of psychic attacks. And we didn't know any better. We just accepted all of them. You know, we suffered so much rejection in this matrix. Even though the virus didn't get inside of us, it, it couldn't get inside of us. It just attacked us from the outside of our spirit man, but it couldn't get in our spirit man. Yeah. We could not defend ourselves because we were not taught how to properly process our thoughts and say, fuck you, devil. You're a liar. And the truth is not in you. Or fuck you demon reminding me of somebody remind, to, talking about me, slandering me, reminding everybody how wicked and evil I am and how much of a failure and a fake and a phony I am. Well, they might have said it. And you made sure that I heard about it. You made sure that I felt it. But now I know that those words were a lie from the beginning. It was something that you called. So fuck you, demon. Yeah, I hope that person learned their lesson. I know I learned mine. And that is that if somebody slandering me, it's like, so fucking what? The Most High God of Israel approved of me. If they rejected me for any reason at all in this matrix, undeservingly so, 
I made it because now I know that one of my greatest treasures, as a matter of fact, this is my greatest treasure of them all, is that I know that Yahweh, my father, and Mariala, my mother, has stamped me with their approval. You better recognize your treasure, star seed, your nine inch. Yeah, you have the most high's approval, mother's approval, and big brother's approval, too. We are the first people to leave having faith in something and belief in something. It had to be having some kind of 3D verification from some kind of scientist or it had to be in some kind of book. Somebody had to write it down and it has to be ver We have moved beyond even things that we were taught. The way that we resonate with the truth is so different. That's a treasure. Because Mother cleared our minds up. She cleared all of that static up, honey, and taught us how to control and master our thoughts instead of our thoughts mastering us. See, they were mastering us through our thoughts. They were mastering us through our thoughts. And once we gain control of that and start slamming the door and emptying out the way that we <laughs> the way that we even think, our thought patterns. We emptied all of that out. And Mother just started speaking to us. That's a treasure. Our Holy Mother actually speaks to us, through us. Not just the Hebrew Rose of Jericho. No, I said that I lead off this group. I didn't say I'm the star of the show. Star Seed United. And our allies and friends are the star of this show. You have witnessed what our works together has done. We came on one accord. And the power of that, honey, the power of that is our part in turning this world upside down and we have receipts of it. Yes, so Mother, she prepared us before we started on our mission, you know. And, and and also, she taught us about our energy and how she said that the Most High God of Israel loves our energy, your purified energy. You had to do a lot of shadow work. Not only that, but you had to go through hella rejection in this matrix. You had to go through hella losses, hella losses. In this matrix, you had to feel extreme emotional and physical pain in this matrix. And she taught us how to recover from it. Honey, we were in the spiritual hospital. Star seed all over this world had so many challenges until we had so they label it as mental illness. It was mental illness, all right. It was the illness of those evil, wicked ones mastering us through our thoughts. And mother put us in the hospital. Honey, and that was a processing right there to clear out that static. Then she taught us about our energy and how powerful it is because we never, ever was infected with that wicked ass virus. Yeah, they tried their best to make us reject even ourselves. Well, if everybody else reject me, then it must be something wrong with me. That was the thoughts that they would try to put in my mind. Yeah, but somehow I would hold on to the Most High God of Israel, and I would seek his face. And no matter what I was going through, no matter what kind of losses that I endured in this matrix, they hit me with everything that they could hit me with. Yet, I would still talk to my father. I would be angry with him. I could not understand and had a whole lot of whys that I could not get answered until now. That is a treasure. 
So we had to recover from all of that to become who we are. And that's what makes our energy purified. Because we focus our thoughts in the, in the courts of the Most High with pure energy. And that's why the Most High God of Israel, he told me that I had to be totally honest when I come to him. I've been lying to him so many times, talking about I forgave people for what they did to me. And I know in my heart I didn't. I just wanted to. I wanted to bad. I would be praying for the Most High God of Israel. To help me to forgive them for what they did to me. <laughs> Through hatred. They just hated my ass. Despised my ass. Sabotaged my ass. Slandered my ass. All my life. Rejection. 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 Yeah. Oh, that's my treasures now. Because I never let go of the Most High God of Israel. I never let go of who I knew he was, the master of all things, the creator of all things. That's my treasure, and I earned his favor. I earned his favor through all of that without even knowing why, having that memory wipe of that contract that I made with him. And now I know that everything in my past my past was me earning who I am right now in his favor. All praises to the most high. That's a great that's a great treasure, y'all. So now let me tell you, the most high God of Israel set us, Star Siege United, even our allies and friends. Allies fight. They fight with their allies. Friends, support. Their allies. Yes. You too. All of our energy. All of our energy. The Most High had mother. Our mother and father. I don't know how they do it. They're our parents. And mother. She started getting us prepared for a great battle. We have been in World War Three. The enemies of our souls, those serpent seeds, synagogue of Satan leading it off, was trying to steal our promised rulership. But the devil is a liar. Yeah, he's a big old Hollywood production artist. Yes. Trying to steal our rulership through that war over there in Israel, that genocide. The most I had them on center stage. All of that empathy on the planet was for on our behalf. I don't care what that little Palestinian girl say. I heard her. And she might be a synagogue of Satan acting like she's a Palestinian. Who knows? She's an operative. Yes, all of that energy went again against Hashatan and his kingdom, which are very weak and anemic. They try to steal our rulership, and we won our rulership, honey. Our rulership is in effect right now. Our Messiah is here. Do you hear me? He is walking on this planet. At the same time, he's riding with the host of the Most High. At the same time, he is supervising this whole war for our rulership. Do you hear me? He's an eternal being. He's doing all of that and more. At the same time, because he's eternal. He's not limited by time. Yes, anyway, I don't want to get off the subject. Not only did we get the Most High God of Israel and our Holy Mother's approval, we got our big brother's approval for this warfare. So now I got to talk about what happened yesterday. You know... <clears throat> I don't know if I mentioned it. It just keeps coming to me. I might have mentioned it in my last video. I don't know. But my pan drums came to mind when the Messiah was whispering to me and some others and the heavenly chorus is in the background. And only thing I could remember in the beginning that was very clear to me was the Lord is my life. You'll hear it. 
and I got some other messages too. Before we started in this war, we got approval from our Messiah when I was playing my pan drums and I didn't hear it while I was playing it. So that right there is a key. Anybody that, that heard this message and resonated with this message, these messages, these coded messages are for you too because I didn't hear it until I posted it. Okay, so you're a part of this too. We earned the Messiah's approval, y'all. And he was saying some things to me. So now I'm going over to that uh, video where I was playing my pan drums, entertaining all of those in the 5D that was helping me out and, you know, giving my love back. And I'm, I'm going to tell you what I have. Uh, decoded in this message because I found three more phrases in that magical video yeah that was magical see this magic is coming at the Hebrew Rose of Jericho in all different kind of ways our Messiah ordained us for this mission this happened before we even started warring against serpent seed Okay, so this is an old video. When I first heard it, I thought it was an angel talking to me. But now I could decode it as being our Messiah through this message. First phrase, the Lord is my life. The Lord is my life. Sent me right to Psalms 27. He's telling us who he is there. The Lord is my life. And he's talking about warfare in the 27 Psalms. I think I'll read it at the end of this decode. He said, the Lord is my life. Second phrase, you are my disciple. We've earned that, y'all. That is a treasure. We are the Messiah's disciples. That's why we hear from the spirit realm. We don't need any 3D verification. We know that what we're talking about is truth because we have receipts. And that's what makes us our disciples, his disciples, because we hear him. We hear mother. We hear father. We hear the ancestors. We hear the angels. We hear the ascended masters. Because we are his disciples. That is the source of our truth now. The 5D. Third phrase. Fearless tactic. I heard that clearly. Fearless tactic. Because he was ordaining us to go into war and he wanted us to go in there fearlessly. He wanted us to go into this warfare fearlessly. We have all kind of protection in this 3D realm. The 5D, the universe is looking over us. And we can move fearlessly. All thing, only thing they can do to me personally is shadow ban my channel. And that's coming to an end very shortly. Yeah, we're not supposed to be afraid of this government and what they could do to us. And We already know we have receipts of all of their spying. We know that they decoded this message, too. They know things about this message that I haven't been revealed consciously. Subconsciously, I, it, it all was revealed to my soul. And we've been moving 
under this ordination in spiritual warfare fearlessly. He said fearless tactic. And last but not least, he says, be not ashamed. Be not ashamed. Those were all those attacks on our minds and doubting ourselves and suppressing who we really are and, you know, just hiding out with it. He said, be not ashamed. Be not ashamed. All praises to the Most High. All praises. Let's go to the courts of the Most High and give him thanksgiving. Give him some of our love and gratitude and our Holy Mother and our Big Brother. Because we have received many, many treasures. And we have material treasures. I, I showed you some of our material wealth. That area is highly cloaked. A lot of it is still cloaked. Though. We have immeasurable wealth waiting for us. We truly are rich. We are the richest people on this planet. Our heavenly treasures are real. I show them to you. And then we have all of this. that uh, Treasures that our spirit man received. Yeah, all praises to the Most High. Thank you, Father, for choosing us and empowering us and ordaining us and approving of us for this great mission that we've been on. Thank you, Father, for inviting us to your holy courts in Zion, where you stamp this earth for judgment. Thank you, Father, for letting us discover the most holy place on the planet, created by you, with all of its magic. Thank you, Mother, for all of your wisdom and your guidance through this mission. Healing our minds and our souls. Freeing us. Pure freedom you've given us, Mother. With all of your lessons, all of your guidance. Thank you for speaking to us, Mother. Thank you for letting us understand what we were supposed to do on our mission. And how to carry it out. And where to carry it out. And why we were chosen. Thank you mother for purifying our energy. Thank you big brother for ordaining us on that special day. Giving us those messages. Getting us ready for warfare. Empowering us. Giving us all the protection we needed. Giving us an inner knowing inner knowing that we were supposed to move with fearless tactics because we have you, your holy kingdom, backing us up. Thank you, big brother, for all of those messages. And we're not ashamed of this gospel, this very strange and unusual 5D gospel. Yes, that you and our mother and our father has given us to share. Thank you. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. And we love all of you. And we adore you. We're very thankful. We know what our treasures are. And we own our treasures. We own our power. We own who we are now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all of the receipts of even our wealth on the planet that's untouchable, that the colonizers has not been able to put their hands on, but reserved for all of us that came here on our mission in this wicked dimension filled with rejection of us because of who we truly are. Thank you to all of you in the universe, all of our friends and allies in the universe that assisted us on this mission to get us this far. Thank you so much. We give our gratitude, our thanksgiving. We're so delighted. And we received all of our treasures. 
We received all of our power. We received all of our strength. We received all of this hidden knowledge to the keys of the kingdom. Showing us the magic and the vastness of our kingdom. We thank you, Father. We thank you for hearing us every time. We thank you for your judgments in response to all of our cases in the courts of the Most High, bringing on justice. I don't know how many more missions we have to go on, Father, before our mission is complete, but we are delighted to serve in your kingdom, your whole kingdom, the kingdom of the universe, and specifically under our Messiah, the King and the God of this earth. It's our pleasure and an honor to serve in the kingdom. I salute all of my star seeds united out there who join their energy and resonation, mother speaking to them. Mothers causing resonation in their hearts to think outside of the box. That's so magical. But purifying their energy for going through it in this matrix that made it. Congratulations. Much gratitude for sticking in there with me. We come a long ways in a very short time. Our mission was to heal. Our mission was to purify our energy. Our mission was to hear from the spirit, from the spirit realm, especially from our Holy Mother. And with her guidance, go into the courts of the Most High and take our cases for the Father to hear it. And he has heard. And thank you, Father, for all of the receipts. All of the receipts of victory. That is our treasures. We have so many victories, Father. Thank you so much for those victories. And we just we just praise you. We love you. Yes. The creator of all things, the Almighty One, the sublime, most magical one. Star seed, you know at nine that you know what to do. Give your father praise and glory. Adore your beautiful, precious mother who's given us all of these wisdom. And pledge your allegiance to our big brother, the Messiah. The king and the god of this earth. Abracadabra. That is the download that I have for you today. I hope you gleaned some power. Yes, and I hope your star of hope is just shining so bright. Just seeing all of the receipts of what we're doing, our rewards, who we are, how powerful we are, how we have favor with the Most High God of Israel, the Mother and the Son. Yes, we have many, many treasures. Stay tuned, you guys. I'm going to post a video because my pan drums are too magical. Okay, so um, right after I post this video, I'll be posting one of how I was introduced to it and how magical they've been. I mean, they, they have been very inviting to those of the 5D. Yes, raising the vibration of our surroundings. So I'll be sharing that video soon. Okay, you guys, I love you. Thank you so much for your support in this mission, in this great mission. Yeah, we're going to have some parades, y'all. All praises to the Most High. I'm going to end this video by reading a portion of Psalms 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble and fail. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war shall rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, 
to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in that magical holy palace, the house of the Lord, all the days of our lives. Abracadabra. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all of this good news. Doesn't it feel good to fight back? Star seed united forever. Star seed for life. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for your kind support of this station. Yes, all your gifts of love. May the most high bless you 100 fold for whatever your hearts desire. Abracadabra. Okay, until the next Judgment News, your big sister, the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose, Jericho out. Shalom. Shalom.